To demonstrate the payroll formula builder, I've saved a little time by creating a new withholding called Retirement Plan, but I've not yet created the formula. So I'm going to double click that new formula and we'll come into the payroll formula builder. Here at the top we'll see the name of the formula, when this formula becomes active in the system, the group name that prints on the paycheck stub, and then the type of formula it is. It's a withholding. And we've got a few other variables here that help us when we're testing our formula. The first thing we need to do is add a couple of variables. We're going to create two variables, one that is a fixed dollar amount and this because it's a retirement plan it could be either a fixed dollar amount or a percentage of a, a gross pay let's say on this particular formula. So the format for uh, a dollar amount would be the money format. We'll use that there. And for a percentage, we'll create another variable. Call that percentage of uh, gross pay. And then we'll use a different mask over here for percentage uh, number amounts. Save those two uh, variables. So they are named amount and P-E-R-C-N-T. Those are the two variables I'm going to use in the formula. Put a comment there and then I reference the variable by the word var, V-A-R, and then whatever the name of that variable is. First one is amount. The second one will be percentage of gross pay. And this would be the variable percent times the gross dollar amount. There we go. And the third line is going to be the higher of those two lines. I'll just call it highest value. And then we'll use the function max, which is maximum, of line one or line two. And that's the formula. So you, you'll get a list of these available to you within the help screen, but this is a fairly straightforward uh, formula. You just build this linearly down to the last line where you want to choose which, which amount to use. To test this, I would come back to the add variables because I'm using two variables there, and I'd put in values. Uh, so here we'll put in 75 for the fixed dollar amount, and for the percentage we'll use 5% and I'll save those and exit and come back. Now I've got some results over here on the right. And this is based on their gross pay for the percentage line. Uh, but the variable amount, 75, is coming from what we put in the variable. So that you can change for each employee and you can also change the percentage of that variable for each employee. You'll see that 75 is higher than 50, so maximum of the two lines return the value 75. And that's how to build the formula in the Formula Builder. After you've built it, you'd save it, uh, exit, and then go to each employee's withholding screen. And so we'll come into the first employee here, Mary Anderson, and we're going to click the general category, and we're going to find our new one called Retirement, load that up, and I can override these values at this point with different values for this employee. Might be $50 or 3%, whichever is higher, because that's what she elects. And just simply set that for each employee, and you're done. And that's how the payroll formula builder works.